Hey everyone, it's Tutorial Tuesday and in this video I'm going to show you guys the difference between attach and weld. Uh, those are two very big different things and they often get, often get misused. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by using some circles. Um, I'm also going to show you a few uh, little extra tips and tricks along the way so make sure you're following along I'm going to make should have just waited I'm going to make these two and a half inches and I'm going to overlap them so I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to I'm going to select these two up here and I'm going to attach them. Now it looks like it's only going to cut this circle from this circle, but really it's going to cut out both circles entirely. So I'm gonna show you how that works um, because we attached it. If we weld it, you can see how it's going to attach them. It's going to make them one object, it's going to weld them together. So I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to sh I'm going to change the colors on these so it's a little easier to keep track. So I'm going to make these a lighter purple and the welded one a darker purple. Okay, so I'm going to hit make it and I'm going to show you on my mat, even though they're different colors, I have them both on my mat. I'm going to show you how I can move them around on my mat after I hit make it so that I can cut them like this. Um, on the app, I know they feature snap mat, so you can already do that, but you can do it on the computer too. So now on my mat, I had put my darker purple paper between five and nine inches or about nine and a half. So I'm going to move it there and I'm going to go to my lighter purple. I'm going to select it and I'm going to click these three dots in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to select move to another mat. I'm going to select mat one and confirm and it's going to move it there. Now it changed it the same color here but it's still the same color in your original project. I think this is a great feature because if you, you don't want if you want to use the mat like this you don't have to turn every single thing the same color on your project you can move it around afterwards so when you go back to your project it's still the same color so you can easily put your project back together. So I'm going to hit continue and since I'm just cutting in this out of card stock, I'm going to move my computer out of the way. I'm going to show you guys again how I have my paper set up, the light and the dark purple. And then I'll let you guys watch it. I got light card stock setting and I'm going to load my mat. And remember the light purple, we attached it, and the dark purple, we welded it. So I'm going to show you the difference with these. And then I'm going to show you a few things with text and attaching and welding and the differences in those when you're using text. Um, it does make a difference if you're using cursive fonts, so that's why I'm going to go over that with you guys because it's very important to understand the difference when using a cursive font especially. So when we're done with this, I'm going to just move my computer back for you guys. Move the camera a little. I'm going to unload my mat and I'm going to click finish and when we go back to my screen you'll see that the light purple is the attached set and the dark purple is the welded set. So now you're going to look at my paper and you can see for the light purple it cut out both circles. Now even though here it only shows it's going like it's going to cut the circles like this it cuts them both. Now if you see this one it cut just the outline. So that's a big difference between weld and attach for uh, images like this. And now I'm going to show you guys with some text and I'm going to use different colors just to make it a bit easier for you guys to see. I'm going to put them on my mat now so that and I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I'm going to cut even though they're two different colors, I'm cutting them on the same mat just to make it a little easier. So I'm going to do the select all up here and erase these because we don't need them. I'm going to select a square and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm going to change it to a teal color. 
because that's the color of my paper. It's easier to follow along. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to just type out hello and I'm going to select a font that has a thicker cursive so you guys will be able to see it better. Um, this is one of my fonts. It's not a Cricut font, but I know off the top of my head it's a nice thicker font. So even though you guys won't be able to follow along with the same exact font, you will be able to see the difference between attach and weld with a cursive font. And that's really what we're going for. I'm going to make it big so you guys can see it. So you can see all the letter spacing. We're going to go up here to the letter spacing tool. I'm going to move these closer together. Um, I go slowly. And as we get a little closer, you see that the O and the H aren't quite there yet. So before I make any edits, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to hide it with the little eye over my layers panel. That way, if I want to make any edits in the future on this project, I have that saved before I make any changes. And um, because once I weld this, you can't unweld it after you save it. So it's going to make uh, any future changes I want to make much easier on me. So I'm going to go back to my original and I'm going to go to ungroup and I'm going to, you can use your arrow key to move the, uh, the O closer and the H closer or you can manually move it. It's up to you guys. Now once we have them all connected, I'm going to select all, oops, don't want that on there. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to select these all and I'm going to attach it, this one, just to show you the difference. And I'm going to change it to a lighter blue. And then I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to weld it. So you can see the difference here, how these all flow as one piece. You can see all around, whereas this one, it doesn't can see how you know the pieces are here and when it goes to cut which I'll show you it's going to cut the whole piece behind, out of this E from the H so another thing I want to show you quickly I'm just going to undo my weld over here if I moved this H if I moved this H just a little too close to that E even though it's good let me see if this will work when you weld it Oh, nope, still not close enough. If it gets too close, which this is a thicker font, so it may have to go a little closer to do what I'm trying to show you guys, yeah. So I know that's overlapping, but hopefully I'm just trying to show you guys. Nope, maybe the O will do it. Um, sometimes your letters will fill in if it's overlapping too much. And see, there we go. Because this L, the part of the L was too close to the O, it filled in that letter. You can just undo, go right up here to undo, and you can um, just space it out a little. Sometimes you just need to go a tiny bit. And a really cool thing you can do is go up to your X and Y positions. If, see when I move my arrow key, it, it moves it a whole tenth of an inch. So sometimes if that's a little bit too much, like if I moved it again, it's a little too much, so I can go to my X coordinate and I can change this to 0 0.08 and it's going to move it a little closer. I'm going to try 0 0.1 and it's a little closer, 1.8. See, there we go. And sometimes you can use that to get it just exactly how you want it. So I'm going to select these again and I'm going to weld them back. Now I'm going to show you something that I feel a lot of people don't really know. You don't need to slice. If I wanted to take this word out of that box, we don't need to slice. We can just attach it and it's going to take it right out exactly like we want it to. So I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to hit attach. It's going to all turn the same color, but it's going to cut the word out of the box. And I'm going to make this much smaller so it fits on my paper. And I want to be able to show you guys how because this is the attached one um, the hello in this box is welded but this is attached and you can see over here how it says detached and one quick thing before I cut that I want to show you guys that's really cool if you made this um, project and you go over here and you can see text and it tells me what font I used 
but say I really wanted to use this font again, but I don't want to use the same word, but I can't remember the font I used and I welded it. Because watch what happens, I'm going to weld this just to show you. Watch what happens when you weld it. It doesn't show you your text anymore. But if you go over to where you change the color and you go to see image information right here and click this little button, it tells you your selected font right here. So if you saved the project and you didn't save a duplicate like I did over here and you really wanted to use the same font, you can find it this way. So I'm going to undo that weld and reattach this. Oh, it's already attached. That way I can show you guys what I want to show you. We're going to go to make it. And again, I have my light on this. I'm going to go here and move this box to my first mat. And that way I can cut on the same paper, move it where I have the paper on my mat. I'm going to move my computer and show you guys cutting again. Um, and you can see um, it really is um, a big difference between attach and weld. Basically, attaching hold things together, kind of like tape or glue, whereas welding, it's kind of like welding. It makes two things or more things one. So it's really cool. The things that you can create and put together, even if it's just using shapes, it's really awesome how you can weld to make all sorts of different things. Uh, but it is important to make sure because you can't undo a weld after you save a project, it's very important to make sure you understand the difference. So that way you can duplicate something before you weld it and save it for if you want to make edits or if you only attach something when necessary. Or making sure that you're welding your cursive font so that they all cut as one and not out of each other. That is a really big thing that not everyone knows. So those are important things. Uh, after this cuts, I'm just going to show you guys too how you can attach if you want to do multiple colors on one project. That is something that I see a lot of people get really confused about because when you attach stuff together, it all turns the same color. So when you're doing multiple colors, what you're going to do is attach your like colors together. Uh, I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way. I see a lot of people recommending different ways to do it, but I think the way I do it is much faster. You may disagree, but I'm going to show you the few different ways that I've seen too so that you can find whatever works best for you. So I'm going to finish this out and I'm going to go back to my main screen so that I can show you guys best. Now we're going to see here um, my light blue. My light blue was attached, just attached. So you're going to see, see how it cut the H out of the E, the E out of the L and so forth. That's because we just attached them. So even though it looks like the E, the H is just kind of attached to the side of the E, it's really not. So then we're gonna go over to this one and I'm gonna take it off the paper so I can really show you. This one um, is how I welded. And you're gonna see, see just attaching that, cut it right out, you didn't have to slice, which saves you a step. And it also makes it so, it's not a permanent thing. So once you slice, you um, you can contour it out, I guess, but it's more work for you and that's not really necessary. So this is the one we welded. See how it cut perfectly all together. So I'm going to show you just here. We're going to detach it and here's our, our welded word. So you can see the difference. I'm going to show you guys side by side just so you can really understand. The attached is the light blue and the uh, welded is the teal color here. So you can see the difference. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly too if you wanted to do a project with um, multiple colors that you wanted to stay in their place. So I'm going to just, I'm going to pull out some shapes here and some text. So I'm going to do, see I'm going to make some polka dots. Okay, so I'm going to take a few of these spread them around and I'll change the colors. So I'm going to do some red and blue and say I want to do a little pattern here. 
And then once you've selected it for the project, your colors will be up here. So you don't have to remember what colors. And that's really nice if you're doing a, um, if you're using a hex code down here and picking a specific color, that's really nice. But you can also too go over to color sync and we can drop some here, pull them over. And um, I'm just gonna leave that one there, I guess. So I don't have a pattern, I did too many. But you can use the color sync to pull them over. And that's really cool too. Sometimes I've, I've imported something from somewhere else and they have two different color blacks, but you don't know until you go to the mat. So you can always double check the color sync before you cut. So I'm going to put some text in here um, and I'm going to change it just to a sans font. That way we don't uh, have to worry about welding and letter spacing just for this. So I'm going to do that and pick a few things here and I'm going to change the colors. Now say I want to do this purple. I'm gonna do this pink. I wanna get a lot of colors so I can really show you guys how you can do this. And then I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna do this with the blue. Okay, so now when we go to make it, you're gonna notice how everything, all the dots are scattered around it's not all together. So what we're gonna do, and what I like to do, and I think is easiest, is I'm going to attach all of the blue together. I'm going to attach all of the red together. And because the purple and the pink don't have, and the gray don't have any other things that are purple and gray, we can leave them. So what I'm gonna do is select my first blue one. And while holding the shift key, um, the control key on my keyboard, I'm gonna go down in my layers panel to this blue still holding the shift key I'm going to select all the blues and hit attach and then I'm going to select all of the red dots and while holding the control key I'm going to do that and I'm going to attach now if I had welded this it's going to do the same exact thing but if I wanted to edit or make changes after I saved I can't do that and I personally make a habit of saving every few minutes when I'm designing just in case my internet goes out or you never know. Sometimes my son's hit the router by accident and it kicks off my internet. And we wanna make sure that I'm, I make sure I'm saving every few minutes so that that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna to go to make it now and I'm gonna show you how on our blue screen by attaching it, we kept everything in its exact position and the same for the red, which is really great if you wanna layer and make it easier on yourself. Um, I know you'll have a lot of wasted material here or for this it wouldn't be too bad you could kind of cut out the circle but I don't really like to waste material so usually I just kind of wing it but for this um, to make it easier on layering this is by far the easiest way to do it now some people will um, I'm gonna detach these to show you some people will go through and they'll hide all of the colors that they don't want in um, they just want to select all the blue so they'll hide all those colors they'll select all and attach and then they'll hide unhide the red and then hide the blue and select all and attach and then unhide it me personally I think the way I do it is much easier because once you attach it it all goes up to the top and I just think it's much easier to go about it that way uh, but really it's preference and whatever makes the most sense to you but that's really the difference between attach and weld and just a few extra tips for you guys